welcome to day 13 of vlogmas so oh this lighting is terrible out here but oh well work with me so i'm on the way to go get the boys from school i'm gonna check them out so i can take them to their doctor's appointment but first i'm gonna go get them and uh first i'm gonna go get them and then i'm gonna um, bring them back to the house let them go to the bathroom and all that good stuff and then we will start heading to their appointment because their appointment is at three o'clock so yeah let's go on and go so uh hold on jeremiah all right y'all so we figured to head on to the doctor's office come on rj i brought them back to the house for a minute they changed their clothes they changed their uniforms because their uniforms was messy they had food and stuff from the day all on it that they had today and um kind of like food. yeah so now finna head on out here to the doctor's office i really think that like i said jeremiah his nose is running i think he's pretty good but i just really want to check on more so rj and that cough because um like i said reading them comments it did kind of make me nervous Basically, we just waiting to be called now. What a doctor! They so dramatic. It was on a lot of coughing, and it's like in here, so they gotta have it covered up while we in here. We hear that fake cough. Jeremiah trying to do stop. So yeah, needs to be covered. Up. So we're just waiting to be called. Any allergies to food, drugs, or latex? None that we know of. Is he on any medicine? <coughs> You see this house, so we're gonna see what's going on. Jeremiah, get down. <laughs> All right, y'all. So basically, we're in the back room. Um, right now, we're just waiting to go into another room because all of the rooms are very full. You know, this is flu season. Put that down, RJ. This is flu season right now. So, um, and you would think, cause I had, I was gonna go to the Kaiser and Kanye, so it was completely booked. Um, the one on Panola completely booked, so we had Stonecrest, and they basically booked too. You see the room we're in, they got the little baby scale. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back. Um, basically, like I said, they took uh, their vitals, and now we're in our regular room. Now that we're just waiting to be seen, we didn't have any vitals. I said, um, vitals they had to take to make sure your heart rate and everything's good, your oxygen, all that stuff. You wait. So now we're just sitting here waiting for the doctor to come in. Um, basically, like she was saying, um, Jeremiah seems to be doing good, RJ saying, but they just want to check and make sure because of the, um, you know, everybody's having, you know, flus and stuff going around. But basically, she told me they really, it was really no need to really come in because they didn't, they haven't ran a fever. She said, you're really not supposed to be concerned about a cold until they run a fever. So the tea with the honey and stuff I've been doing, she said that has been working. Continue doing that. Make sure they got like some nasal spray, keep the humidifier on. But she was like, but um, because they haven't been running a fever, it's nothing to really be too concerned about. But we just want to check with the doctor to make sure and see. Better safe than sorry. So that's what we're doing now. Oh yeah, these children don't want my nerves out in um this doctor's office today. But positive note, everything is good. Yep. Um, nothing's nothing's going on with either one of them. Come on, nothing is going on with either one of them. Jeremiah, give me a hand so we can cross the street. RJ, stop it. And all you gotta do is call and watch that rape pull up under the stars since they doing all this shit on us. Facts. We are back home. Hit that light. Hit that light over there. Y'all, look what our family got. Me a glass of wine. This my this my hand might be ash. I've been washing. This is my first glass of wine this week, y'all. Yep, first glass. And I'm just doing this little bitty one. This little bitty one. Now tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, <laughs> I supposed to be going to my best friend's house, so I don't even know if I'm. St I gotta call her and see if we still supposed to be uh, getting together tomorrow, cause I haven't really talked to her this week. But we were supposed to get together tomorrow, so I might be going over there. And if I do, then I know I'm gonna have some wine over there. I'm gonna have to stop and get a bottle, but 
Yeah, y'all. That's what I'm doing. And cooking. Grounding up this beef. I ain't even did the right shit. And like I said, I'm gonna try that rotel. And I seasoned it up. I seasoned this meat up with um. I'm telling you, I'm just I'm just trying to do some. This taco seasoning. I ain't use all of it. I just use a little bit. And this right here. Goya seasoning. And I put some uh onion powder, garlic powder, add some black pepper in it. And yeah, we're gonna see how this works out. We're gonna see how this come out. And I'm gonna add that. I'm still in debate about um I think I'm trying to look and see if I got some some black beans and probably some corn. Like I want to make it like fiesta style. Um, what's wrong? But yeah, so um, I'm gonna look and see if we have some. I'm gonna look and see if we have some black beans and some corn and try to do like a fiesta style thing. I would have loved to do sour cream and cheese, but like I said, I might have that on my stuff and then just not get the boys that. But we are gonna see. Hopefully this come out good, y'all. Hopefully this come out good. I see we got corn. We don't have any black beans. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Ooh. Let me see what I can do. Yo, I just randomly thought about this. Okay. On Saturday, we have a Christmas party to go to me and Robert. Y'all, I ain't got nothing to wear this Christmas party. Nothing to wear. It's it's for his job. You can't y'all can't go. Y'all know y'all don't go to that Christmas party. But yeah, y'all. Um, I literally do not have anything to wear. I don't know. And then the thing is that okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Yeah, I'm tell you what happened. At first, he was like, "Yeah, we're going to the Christmas party this year," but it's on the day he's at the station. So then it was his Liberty Day got switched and then he was probably gonna have to get that day back. And then it was like, okay, well, Tika, I don't know if we're gonna go. Then it was like, okay, yeah, we for sure going, we for sure going. And then last week he came again and he was like, well, his um his chief was saying that can't probably can't get he probably can't have that day off because they was understaffed. So he was gonna have to go to the station that day. Um, but then he calls and tell me today because he was at the station last night. He calls and he was like, All right, Tika, uh, so talk to my chief, and I'm for sure going. We for sure going to the Christmas party because it's for his part. The Christmas party is for his part time job. And I'm saying, Like, it was we was going, then we went going, then we was going, then we went going, and now it's Saturday, it's right around the corner. Well, Saturday is the next day. Well, today is Thursday, it'd be Friday when y'all get this. But Saturday is right here, and I'm like, I ain't got no accessories, no dress, no shoes. Um, basically, no nothing. So, I'm gonna have to look. Um, I'm gonna have to look in the house and see. But, yeah, so basically, I'm finna just have to look in my closet and I'm finna have to pull something together and then just probably just go get accessories. Um, Honey, we're gonna see what I can do. I got a little dress. I'm really not a fan of wearing the dress. I don't really know if I want to wear that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Y'all, dinner was a success. Yeah. It really was. It was a success. Even though it was a made up meal. Oh, we all apologize. Even though it was a made up meal, it was good. Hi, y'all. RJ had two bowls and Jeremiah. How many, bowls. how many bowls you had, Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. You ain't had, had no two. two. <laughs> but I fixed Jeremiah the very first one he had in it. So I fixed him a really like a half of a spoon. Like it was like probably that much in there. Just get him on his stomach because he, he fickle when it comes to that. And then he ate it. He was like, my mom was a mouse. So I fixed him a regular one. And then he asked for like, another bowl. So I fixed it. And y'all, look at this. He ate all of his food. So what I did, um, and my mama, she absolutely like it. And both of the boys, I ate yellow rice, ground beef, and I told you I seasoned it up with some taco seasoning and some of that Goya seasoning. Um, I added two cans of Rotel, the original one, and I added a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, um, just a little bit to it. 
and some corn because we ain't had no black beans i was looking for some black beans so i want to be like fiesta style but did that and then once it was done i topped mine with some sour cream my mama did her soup and oh yeah never mind want something too but yeah so it came out really 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 good so we're gonna put some up hopefully robert enjoy it but it was so simple but it was so good and like i said i used that yellow rice and i told y'all about that yellow rice that yellow rice have fresh like well not fresh but dehydrated garlic um onions and all that kind of stuff in there so i really didn't even have to do a lot of seasoning because their rice is so seasoned and then of course the um what got the ones on that side but we didn't turn the ones on downstairs or that bar area but yeah it came out really good so it was very simple um i was just throwing some stuff together because you know the yellow rice and you know of course like i said that um what's it called um what's that what's this stuff called i don't lost forgot the name rotel y'all yeah, already know that's already seasoned up so everything came together it was bomb i will make it again really i was experimenting y'all because i was like, okay we had this ground beef we need to go to the store and get some more meat i think we got we got to think of like country ribs left in there. But after those country ribs are left, we ain't gonna have no more meat. So we have to go to the store and get some more meat. But we went ahead and used that pack of ground beef up. And then we used the rice and stuff. Like I said, just throwing stuff together. And y'all, it came out really, really, really good. And I'm happy that my kids ate, especially Jeremiah, because y'all, like I said, y'all know he don't like corn. I don't think he knew corn was in it, but he ate it. Cause the rice is yellow and corn is yellow. So I think he thought it was just rice, but he enjoyed it so that's good um but yeah so then they finished just sitting down here they watching bubble guppies bubble, 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 bubble. Uh -uh, look at your nose don't blow your nose look what i got from this that one it didn't that was a doctor i'm not meant to doctor all right y'all all right y'all we sitting here watching What's this called? The Cookie Holiday Challenge on a uh, Food Network, and I want to make some holiday cookies now. Way too much, but yeah. So we sit here just watching this. Hopefully, when Robert come, he he don't forget my sugar cookies. But it's gonna be so late, y'all. It's eight oh six. He ain't gonna get up my cookies to about ten o'clock. It's about ten o'clock. But, like I said, we just sitting here, so it ain't really too much more going on today. So, I will see y'all on day 15. So, y'all have a wonderful night. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on day 15. Bye.